Hello, and welcome once again to the Dental Marketing Mastery Series. This podcast is brought to you by New Patients Incorporated and NPIClick.com. I'm Howie Horrocks, the founder of New Patients Incorporated. Along with me once again is my friend and partner and the president of New Patients Incorporated, Mark Dilatush. Hey, everybody. This is Mark Dilatush. Howie is, I don't know, he's getting his shoulder fixed, offing, or doing something today. Um, but I do have a very, we have very special guests on our podcast um, today, and it is Sandy Pardue and Dana Salisbury. Hey, from Mark. Classic Practice Resources. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hi. We're doing great. We're doing great down here in Louisiana. Yeah, I know. You just told me what you had for lunch and my salad didn't measure up. So I'm a little pissed <laughs> off right now. Well, now you have to say, Sandy, what did we have for lunch? Yeah, well, well, actually, I would have loved a salad to go with this. Yeah. But we had shrimp and crab meat lasagna. But and instead of a salad, we had peca- a pecan brownie. <laughs> and chocolate cheesecake. It's so we, bad. We just took a bite of it. Uh, that's... that's Terrible. Everybody's on their. We fall asleep on this podcast. I know. Everybody's on their treadmill right now listening to this podcast, listening to what you guys had for dinner or for lunch. We usually don't have lunches like that. Okay. This was just like a a one time thing. Uh, I stopped by at this well known Louisiana caters uh, business this morning, and that's what they were cooking. So that's what I. For those who are uninitiated into who Sandy uh, Pardue and Dana Salisbury are from Classic Practice Resources, I can't imagine that you don't know who they are. But um, Sandy and Dana have been running Classic Practice Resources for how long? Sandy, that's okay if you don't want to say. Oh, I've been around since uh, 1993. Okay, so a couple months, right? All right. Okay. Yeah, a couple of months for yeah, sure. Oh, I've, I've worked with go. over 600 practices. And Sandy and I have, um, I don't know, kind of grew up together, right? In dentistry a little bit. Yeah. I think I'm older yeah. than you are, but that's okay. Anyway, um, Sandy and Dana and their group, they have a whole group of professionals. They do a wonderful job. They do a wonderful job. Some of them are, we have, we have clients that are both of, they use both of our, our companies. And, um, the reason I wanted to bring them on today was to talk about uh, new patient phone calls. Uh, if you're a customer or you're a client of New Patients Incorporated, I want you to take um, specific notice of the dates and venues Sandy and Dana have. Um, they're taking some of their training on the road and they have some dates and some venues uh, for that training that you might be interested in having your staff attend. And the reason I'm mentioning this to our existing clients is because we're a marketing firm and we listen to phone calls and they are transparent, not only to us, but to our clients. (laughs) And some of our clients get little no, I'm not going to call them nasty grams, but they get, they get little notes from us that say, hey, doc, what do you want us to do? <laughs> you know, the, the, you're either not answering your phones or when they, you are engaging in the conversation, you're having 27 minute conversations with a new patient, which is always a, a no, no. And, um, and you're just not accommodating or you don't understand the staff doesn't understand how to engage, right? How to, how to how to feel like a new patient so they understand where they're coming from when they have that initial conversation. So that's why the, the main reasons I wanted to bring Sandy and Dana onto the podcast and introduce those events. So um, actually, uh, Sandy, what are the dates and what are the venues? And can you describe those events a little bit? Okay, sure. Well, it's called Academy for Scheduling Excellence. I've been given this seminar for many years. It's been very popular. And we usually have it at our training center here in Baton Rouge. So just because we had so many requests to go around the country, we decided to do this in 2019. I'm not sure we'll do it again after 2019. But for this year, we're going to Southern California And we are going to be there on July the 26th. Now, this is a one-day seminar, and we put a lot into the one day. We have so much information. It's not like going to 
a big dental meeting where there's 500 people in the room and you're just listening to someone. No, this is interactive. So we're going to start in the morning and go all the way throughout the day and where there's going to be role playing involved. They're going to learn true patient objections. They're going to learn about tone. How do you answer the phone with the proper three-part greeting? They're going to really practice these things. So when they leave, they're going to be better on the phone. And we are also going to give every practice that attends our well-known and hard to get flip charts. So they'll get a set for proper confirmation protocols and proper recall and reactivation protocols. And, And there's a lot of value to those. So we're yeah, excited. We, we don't sell those bad boys. No, they're not available to anyone unless they've been on our one-year program. So we're, every practice that comes gets that. And then also we have a package of uh, verbal skills and tons of great handouts. And so, I mean, this is, you can see why after uh, someone attends this, why some well-known doctors in the dental field have sent their team members five times, six times, as many as eight times every time they get new team members to this scheduling academy. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to start off in California and then we're going to- What was that date again? July 26th? July 26th. Okay. Okay. Is that that a Friday, a Saturday? What day of the week is it? It's all day Friday. Friday. And it's in Southern California. Okay. Okay. And then on August 23rd, we will be in Raleigh, North Carolina. And that's going to be at Tarun's 3D Dentist Facility. (laughs) So excited. How fun is that? How fun is that? Yeah, I can imagine. And then, I know. And then we have a September event in Boston. Boston. We're going to eat lobster. What day is that? Uh, It is on September 27th. And that's a Friday as well? Yes. Awesome. And then we, um, it looks like we're going to be in Ch- in the Chicago area, October 11th. That is up in the air, but we're partnering with Revenue Well to put that particular event on. And uh, they're an event sponsor for that okay. course. We're super excited about it. So this is like, this is rare. Normally, Sandy is so booked up that I am begging on my hands and knees to do one of these a year. I'm lucky in the past to have two per year and to have this many is redonkadonkalous. Right, right. And we announced it and people are signing up and it's pretty now, exciting. How, They've, a lot of people have been waiting right, for this. Now, I, I know they have, well, you know, you know, one other person who's been waiting for you guys to do this is me. Okay. Cause, Good. Cause we make your job oh easier. My God, don't we? we make That's my right. job easier. Yes. Cause <laughs> all I can do is get the phone to ring. I can't get them to that's answer right. it, and, and I can't and get them to, to speak correctly. <laughs> I can't get them to not oh, talk man. on the phone while they're eating lunch. I can't do those things, but you guys obviously can. Mark, you know what else I do at this course? Yeah, what's that? I, I actually play actual phone calls. Oh, wrong ways and right ways so that right. they can learn and, and then let them score it because you know you can tell somebody how to do it no, I know and you can you know but if you don't let if they don't realize what's wrong or right uh this is a true story I, I want to tell you this real quick this was uh recent and um where the doctor is spending a lot of money on google ads and mm-hmm. he does a lot of um full mouth restorations, a lot of high bridge cases, implants. So he um, decided to start listening to some of his calls and he called me really upset. And then he gave me permission to share the story because it ended up not so good with this 25 year employee. Okay. She'd been there for 25 Mm. years and he has a very nice practice by the way. And so he decides to listen to this call last Thursday that came in from a, a prospective new patient. And so the phone was answered kind of like, yeah, Dr. Blank's office, right. this is Kathy. And then the new patient says, hi, I'd like to make an appointment to come in. Actually, I need two different types of appointments. I need to replace my eight veneers. They, they're they old. I've had them a long time. And I've heard great things about this doctor. And she is so uptone and talking like this. Oh, and by the way, I need a cleaning. And then the 25-year front office person says, well, who's your insurance with? <laughs> Wait, I thought you were going to say, well, we can't do the cleaning and the veneers in the same visit. That's what, that's what I thought you were going to no, say. Says, <laughs> so she doesn't say, 
welcome to the practice. I want to be the first to welcome exactly. you. Thank you for our calling. Yeah, that anything, she, nothing. It was like, who's your insurance with? And the girl goes, um, I'm not sure, but I get one free cleaning a year. And so then the 25 year veteran employee says, well, we are not in network with any insurance. So you will not be able to have that done here. <laughs> Okay. Even the way you said that was like way more upbeat. Yeah, than- yeah that was more upbeat than how she right. was. Okay. And so I'm going to bring this phone call with me yes. to these events. Okay. I've got it edited. I was given the phone call and w- but with didn't permission. But end like, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh sorry yeah. To well, um, I, I'm not. Okay. So then, so then the next thing is the girl says, okay, fine, but I want to come there for veneers. Okay. And so. She, they make the appointment. Well, first she's put on hold. Then, the, then here the girl comes back. She says, well, I just want to tell you the traffic, the bridge is closed and the traffic is really, really bad. You're going to gonna have a hard time. Getting it's going to be really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so she would have done better like hanging up on the new patient. So the doctor heard the call and freaked out. And uh, so the doctor sat down with her Friday. And so he was going to jump on her and he was so mad. And, um, and I said, no, I think you should let her listen to the call. I had to tell him three times. He called me at eight o'clock the night before he was going to talk to her. And he was so upset after he heard this call. And I, I said, let her listen to it. Give, make sure she has something to write with a piece of paper and a pen and tell her to write down all the things that she heard wrong with the call. So she listened to the call and no, guess what? No. She didn't see anything wrong with anything she said. No, you yeah, don't see it when say, you're doing it. Yeah. Right. But I will say a lot of people that we talk to have these recording services, but they don't give the team access. And so they don't that's, listen. that's my that's my message is give everyone on the team the credentials to log in and not right. make fun of people. We're listening to learn. I think that's, that's, that's number one. That's the only way they're going to learn. That's right. But number two, because there are two sides to this coin, you know, we do always have to ask ourselves, even in, in management, I've messed up. Mark, I'm sure you've messed up. We all have mess ups. The real issue is, is anytime something goes wrong, we need to ask ourselves, did I give this team member the tools that they needed to do their job successfully? And, and you know, so this is why the Academy Seminar is great for if you've been in dentistry one day or 30 years, people leave going, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't even realize that I'm so enlightened. And so this is what we're about. We just, we just want to make the new patient experience better because you're working so hard to make that phone ring. And, you know, the, I found a statistic that was interesting. So the ADA reports that for adults, not seniors, like ages 18 to 64, only 30% of the U.S. population of adults in that age range went to the dentist in 2018. So now, okay, uh, but for a lot of those people, they thought about going to the dentist and some of them probably even called the practice and decided not to because of a bad experience. That's right. The phone call. So, made to feel bad. Like well, a lot of practices, one of the first things they'll right. ask a patient is, when was the last time you had your teeth cleaned? Right. Now, that's <laughs> right. a fine way to start a relationship right. when they've been, put, they've been putting it off because people are embarrassed about putting yep. off dentistry. When their no. mouth is in bad shape, no. they're not they're, proud they're, of they're that. Seeking, they're seeking, they're not, they're, not, they're not seeking judgment, that's for sure. Comfort. Mm, right. That's right. right. That's exactly correct. They want to be welcomed and uh, assured. And so, you, yeah, so the, I mean, that's what we see so often. So those stats are great that the ADA reported that Dana is talking about. And it just makes you realize all of these missed opportunities no, on the I telephone. And we they just. But you know, what's funny is so only about 36 percent of adults went to the dentist last year in that age range. Right. But 48% of the kids in right. the U.S. population went to the dentist. Oh, so they bring their kids. They bring their kids. So they know the need, or some do, right? The 12, 12 additional percentage points. They know the need and they, we, we, you know, we give every, it's a primal instinct, right? We give everything to our kids. We want to do everything we can for our children. They know it. So we're, it, it shows what we're not doing 
to get people in, um, hold them responsible for their own dental health, but also, you know, assure them and comfort them and, and make them feel welcome. No, it, that it, what they, when they call to schedule the kids, they should be promoting to the parents and suggesting that they make an appointment. It's very much similar. Um, you can Google this, I guess, is between a, the difference between a transactional relationship and a social relationship. Mm-hmm. Where when somebody, we, our work, we, we, we try everything to get mom interested in one of the 10 things, right? And if we do interest right. her and she calls, she's not calling to have a transactional relationship. No. She's calling to establish a social relationship. And if you make that a transactional relationship at the very beginning. You've lost them. You know you know what it's like? It's like saying, you know, it's like having Thanksgiving dinner with your mother-in-law and she gets done making this beautiful dinner, just enormous 12 people at the table, the seats, the turkey, the stuffing, everything. And you walk over to your mother-in-law and give her a hundred bucks to cover the cost. Wait, I think it, doesn't that feel I think weird? I did that. No, I'm kidding. Wait, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so, okay. So here's, Here's what we want to do. We want to make sure everyone is aware of all the events, even if they're like, even if the ink is dry in Dana. So would you go through all the um, events, please, again? Sure. Before so, we close up this podcast. Sure. So we have July 26th. That is just outside of Anaheim, California. It's Friday, July 26th. Friday, August 23rd in Raleigh, North Carolina. Then we will be in Boston, September 27th, also a Friday. And it looks like we will be in the Chicago area, at least at the time of of this recording, October 11th. Great. Okay, so for everybody listening to the podcast, if you're anywhere near those areas and you want to have your business team... um. You want to you, you want to send them to pro. I can't imagine a better value for the for the money. Send them, oh. send them, get them in front of Dana and because I know Dana and Sandy will work them. <laughs> I know they will because they don't do fluff. <laughs> Sandy and no, Dana, no. they don't do fluff. No. And you know, and 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 I just want to reiterate this again. If your team, if you have a new team member or someone that's been in dentistry for a long time. We help people every day and we get, we get them excited about their job again. Right. Training is great. And I, you know, training that aligns with, with uh, your core business objectives, which I guarantee we do uh, because we're all about service. And, and, you know, this is, this is critical to grow your business, to keep your team. That's one of the top reasons people leave their job, by the way, yeah. is no training opportunities, no learning opportunities. And really strike chords with your patients, get connected with them on deeper levels and have those meaningful relationships that's going to keep them engaged in their own health. Sounds like an oxymoron and keep them coming back. Right. No, I, Absolutely. I, I, it would be, you know, we hear this all the time, you know, it's, it's different with new patients. You can tell when you initially meet them, doctors tell us this all the time, they, you, you can tell if they were shopping or you can tell if they're interested in dental services because the greeting, the initial greeting is totally different. Yeah. And the front desk is what makes and breaks that. And that's something else, Mark. We break down, we take every scenario. I've listed out over 20 different potential questions right. that a new patient would have mm-hmm. and we made separate videos for each one and then I bring some of those along so they can actually see and hear okay good versus me just standing there telling them all this and uh thank you they get a lot of information it really makes a difference some people say they go back and their production increases right away by 30 percent the next month good well we'd be happy if our clients would listen to this and even if they are our you know gold medal clients send your staff anyway you what really what are you going to harm nothing you're That's just right. it, there's there's like a no 
lose situation here. So Dana and Sandy, thank you so much. We're kind of at our limit here because people are getting off the treadmill now. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thank um, you, Mark. We appreciate yeah. it. And uh, w- everyone listening, expect to hear more from Dana and Sandy and NPI in the coming months Absolutely. and quarters and years. That's a little hint yeah. towards something coming. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, thanks guys. We hope you've enjoyed our podcast today. You can get all our podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, and Libsyn.com and on our websites, newpatientsinc.com and npiclick.com. 